Baseline testing has taught me that when I go over 154 beats a minute, this is when I first was tested, it's changed now, I start to burn carbohydrates. He's taught me through science that I want to have a lower carbohydrate diet and high fat. So train in a zone that doesn't burn carbohydrates to, to get your body accustomed to using fat for fuel because it's way more efficient than carbs. Higher, highest calories per ounce is in fats. But you have to get, train your body to, to be accustomed to and used to, to burning that for fuel. So that, that day, I'm, I'm keeping my heart rate under 154 to burn fat. And then I'm doing it fasted. So I wake up in the morning, I don't eat. And then I'll do, my last week I did 10 miles with a 70 pound pack. Took me three, just a little over three hours. And then I'm coming home after that, that, that event, and I'm not eating for as long as I can. Because what we're trying to do is force my body to adapt burning fat as fuel versus carbohydrates. It keeps you from bonking. It's much more efficient for endurance athletics. Something new for me. But I've seen a difference from doing it. Does that answer your question? And then you're, I am building up. I didn't start at three hours. I didn't start with 70. I started an hour, hour and a half, two hours. Because when you're training with no fuel, it, it's, it's hard at first. Your body hates it. It wants carbs. It wants sugars. Right.